Hi, today I'm going to be reviewing Fragments, a simple torrent client for the GNOME desktop. To start, let's take a look at the interface. Fragments follows the GNOME human interface guidelines really well, and as such will already feel very familiar to anyone used to using other GNOME apps. In the header bar, we find a button for adding new .torrent files to download, as well as the standard primary menu seen in other GNOME apps, containing an option to open preferences as well as one for the about information. In the aforementioned preferences menu, we'll only find three options. A toggleable dark mode, an option for where you'd like downloaded files to go, and an option to change the maximum number of parallel downloads. Going back to the primary window, there really isn't much else to look at other than a neat graphic featuring the fragments icon and some information on how to add a torrent. Like any standard torrent client, Fragment supports magnet links and dot torrent files, but also prompts you to paste a magnet link from your clipboard automatically without having to click on anything to access that feature, which is pretty neat. Once we add a torrent, we'll see a progress bar along with basic progress speed and time estimates. If we click on the file, we can see some extra information, including Cedar and upload statistics. Once the file finishes downloading, we can open it in our file manager or remove it if we'd like. But that really is pretty much it when it comes to fragments. Like I said at the start of the review, this is a really simple torrent client. While that may sound like a criticism, to me it really isn't. Fragments does what it does really well, and by leaving out a lot of the more esoteric features common in other torrent clients, it creates a great user experience that gets the job done. That isn't to say that I'm not missing anything, though. An example of one of the features I miss from more fully featured torrent clients is a graph of transfer speed history, which I find useful when downloading large files with few seeders. Overall, though, I highly recommend Fragments to anyone looking for a straightforward way to download torrents without anything getting in the way. If you'd like to try it out for yourself, Fragments is available as a flat pack through Flathub, which I'll leave a link to in the video description. Also in the description, you'll find a link to the project's GitLab page if you'd like to get involved or learn more. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.